everyone, so today I'll be doing a first impressions review of this CC cushion right here. This is the Face Shop CC Intense Cover Cushion in V103 Pure Beige. And last time when I did a first impressions review of another cushion foundation, it was the Oil Control Water Cushion from the Face Shop. A lot of people were asking me about the shade. So the Face Shop Canada actually carries around five different shades, whereas I think in Korea they only carry two or three different shades for this one. I have to double check for this one to see if they carry lighter or darker shades as well. But this one right here is the lightest shade that they carry in Canada. So yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna take it out of the package. And the packaging is fairly similar to the other f cushion foundation that they have. Sephora has a different logo and slightly different color. So almost all cushions have the same deal. You get a mirror, you get a cushion sponge, and then you also get your cushion foundation right here and you just peel this back. So the description for the CC Intense Cover Cushion is it's supposed to be a high coverage and brightening foundation. Moisture lasting CC cream for a vibrant lively complexion. It's supposed to reduce wrinkles as well as brighten your skin. And it's a full coverage formula with the ultra natural finish, a luminous finish for a vibrant complexion. So it says it has rose oil and lavender oil in it. It also has hyaluronic acid to help for moisturizing. So yeah, let's just give this a try. So what we're looking for here is high coverage, I think. I'm just going to put my hair up first. And sorry for looking like a hot mess right now. So just dab, you get your product. That's like pretty intense. So now that I zoomed you guys in, I think you can see a little bit clearer. It's like pretty good coverage. I have like a lot of redness around my nose and it's covering it. And just for reference for you guys, I do have combination skin. So I have an oily T-zone as well as normal skin around my cheeks. Okay, so I'm done applying it to my face. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but like before I put on, I did have quite a few spots of redness on my face, like around my nose and on my forehead and some on my chin. But like after I put it on, you can't see any redness coming through, which is like crazy. And I put some on my lips too, just to see if it'll cover. And it does. The coverage is pretty intense. And the feeling without powder right now, it's kind of sticky. It's not like smooth. It's kind of sticky. So I might powder a little bit. So I will be doing the rest of my makeup now. And sorry, I have um, some of the makeup on my hands. But I will be putting on concealer underneath my eyes just because I don't think foundation alone ever covers my dark circles. So yeah, I'll just be right back and I'll finish my makeup and I'll just check in with you guys. So now I'm done applying my makeup. And initially when I applied it on my face, it was quite dewy well not quite dewy it was kind of dewy looking but i ended up powering my face because i know i do get oily especially now that it's summer so i did powder up um i just want to see if it'll start patching on my face because that's the problem that i usually have so like once i start to get oily like patches of the makeup start to come off so we'll check in on that it makes my skin from afar look really good right but i do have quite a bit of like whiteheads and stuff like on my forehead right now but you can't really see from far away, so which is really nice. It feels really good after I powdered it up though. I definitely recommend powdering up. I hate the feeling of sticky foundation or CC cream. It just doesn't feel good on my skin. I don't know if you guys can see, it is 11.47 right now. So I'll just check up in a few more hours, I guess. So see you then. So the current time is 3.25 and this is what my face looks like right now. So sorry that I didn't check up earlier, I just got back home from washing my car. So right now my face is looking pretty good, it's not actually that oily right now, which is good. See around my nose is not red, the red isn't coming through. And yeah, I'm not looking really greasy, which I really really like. I don't know if you guys watched my other review of the cushion, this one, the oil control one. It didn't control oil as well as this one did maybe because i did actually powder my face i don't know but it looks really good and by the way i use the laura mercier translucent powder to um set my face today so i'm just going to take a sheet of blotting paper and blot my face just to see what it looks like hey you guys it's actually not that bad 
It's so weird because it doesn't claim to be like oil controlling and everything like the other cushion, but this one actually works much better. I actually like this one 10 times better than the other one. <laughs> Cause like, I don't actually use the oil controlled cushion that often. I actually use my other cushions more often or my other foundations more often. I'm liking how it looks. It looks so good. It makes my skin tone. It actually matches my skin tone too. Cause I am quite fair. Cause I don't ever go outside in the sun. And it's genetics as well. If you guys want to see a close-up of my skin. So it's been like four hours and it looks pretty good. So if a foundation can last for eight hours for me, I think that's pretty good because I usually have longer days than eight hours. I usually have like 10 or 12 plus hours for a day which I wear makeup. So let's just see how long this will last. And I guess I'll just check back with you guys in... Again, four more hours, three more hours. I don't know, I'll see you then. Hey everyone, so right now it's around 8.30 and this is what my face looks like now. So I think this has been on my face for over eight and a half, nine hours now. I think, I can't do math. So um, an update for you guys, I think around the seven hour, six and a half, our mark my I think I start to see a little bit of patching on my nose so I don't know if you guys can see what I mean I have this problem all the time so it's not like a big deal my nose is super glowy and oily <laughs> but the rest of my face looks really good and still from far away you can't tell that it looks weird but I still like this CC cream way more than the oil control foundation the cushion foundation so yeah I'm super happy about it. I definitely will use this again because I love higher coverage. This actually is like a medium full coverage um, CC cream, which I really like. So for me, I do like wearing foundation sometimes just because of the coverage it gives, but um, I hate the application of it. So this is perfect for me because the CC gives like such full coverage. And oh, I also have to tell you guys um, about the color selection so in korea i was checking their website so they have pure beige they have apricot beige and they have natural beige but in canada i believe they have four or five shades i don't know i just checked online so i'm not too sure don't quote me on that and every country is different so do your research on it so i will be taking off my makeup right now so i'm just gonna end this here um my final thoughts is I do recommend this. It's meant for all skin types and I think it would work for all skin types. I did do a exfoliation on my skin the day prior to this. So I don't know if it affected it or anything because I don't have that many dry patches. But I usually do have dry patches on my nose and it didn't seem to cling on it onto it at first. So as I said earlier, I do recommend you um, apply some powder onto your CC cream after. Just because, I don't know, I don't like a sticky feeling for my foundation and it does make your foundation last longer. So that's what I recommend. But yeah, I'm just, just going to end it here. I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!